I just plugged myself. Hold on. Technical difficulties happens to the best of us. But I'm the worst. As you can see, I'm rocking a new look. I hope you like it. I have had implants to make my brain larger because I'm dumb. I hope you enjoy. Today we are talking about John Wick in real life. Now I love John Wick, but I do not love this shit because this man just got absolutely popsicled in the back of the brain. Now obviously I can't show you the video because YouTube would probably arrest me and send me to Auschwitz. I didn't finish the word. I meant to say um, they would send me to the raft. The man who murdered United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson described, inscribed on deny, defend, depose. So if you've not seen, a man was killed who used to, who called Brian. Brian, who worked for United Healthcare. He was shot. He was popped in the back of the head. Now, if you want to go see it, go on Twitter or X and you can uh, check it all out because it's all over there like a rash. It's everywhere you go. It, this is linked to a book written in 2010 which was blasted by an insurance business delay, deny, defense. So it's all about an insurance scam. Now, I know what you're thinking. What are you on about, hey, dog? What, what are you smoking? And the answer is drugs. I smoke hardcore drugs. But as you can see here, this is what the gentleman looked like. I can't show you the video, which is a bit upsetting. Has died. This all happened about 6.45 in the morning outside of the Hilton Hotel right off 6th Avenue. The suspect described as a six-foot-tall man with a slim build, possibly wearing a cream-colored jacket, black gloves. He took off northbound on 6th Avenue. People who witnessed this situation, there were actually two or three people who saw it. They said that it appeared that this suspect was waiting for hours, maybe overnight, outside of the Hilton, possibly targeting this victim. So this was an assassination attempt. Some rich voodoo hoodoo, they were trying to expose the healthcare system. I know for a fact, here, he was killed by wearing a man using a suppressed pistol. Who has a suppressed pistol? I bet it might be really easy to get actually in America, but it just seems fine, because if you watch the video, he shoot, it jams. He's clearly not shot it before. Now, why do I know that? that I'm, I'm absolutely stealing someone else's point here. Right, we're going to start from here, Harrison. So, the previous part I can't show you because obviously he actually shoots, but this is the guy holding the gun. It's got suppressor on it. very small caliber suppressed, looks like suppressed is that pistol. Most of the 22 ammo is subsonic, meaning it doesn't cross the sound barrier. But what happens is the ammo doesn't have enough ass to cycle the weapon, so this guy... Doesn't have enough what? Ah! He's got to cycle the weapon, right? See, but jams. you see it jams, and he's got to hit the back of the slide. 22 is notorious for not chambering, right? Mm -hmm. So he hits the back of the slide, so it goes in battery, so he can take another shot. So you have that's one of the things you do before you take a weapon out on an op like that, is you fire it a couple of times to make sure it's actually tuned up right. So you. So this is so basically what he's saying there is this guy had was given this weapon by someone. This was a murder committed by CEO or some rich bloke who you know, was trying to, he was potentially trying to expose something about the healthcare system, maybe something to do with the pandemic. You don't think this was fired before then, is what you're saying? No. Okay. No, it doesn't look the like The dude it. shooting or, or has rounds, zero maybe. experience with this I was he can't, and he can't fire the weapon very. I mean, even a tw even with 22 at that range, you should be able to pop somebody in the back of the head. Now, the gun is based off his shoulders, which is the biggest common mistake I see on the range, is the gun will stay 90 degree from the shoulder, but what you'll see is it's low to the eyes. So his first shot, when he levels the gun to shoot, watch my hand, it'll go down. And this is why his first shot shoots him somewhere in that leg. And he now, he immediately still. racks that slide. Yeah. So he's either an intentional shooter, means, meaning he shoots a lot and he knows how to perform remedial action, mm. or he expected that to happen. If he knew anything about the gun, he would have practiced this a couple times. Now, I don't think this guy's a pro, and I'll tell you why. If this guy was a pro, just hear me out, I would not have shot from 10 feet away. I'd have walked up, put it to the base of his skull, shot it, dropped him, walked off with one shot yeah like if you're okay so maybe he's not a professional and everything i just said was a lie maybe it's just some guy who thinks this is some ceo rich wig who's made so much money off the suffering of the people over the healthcare system now the healthcare system is obviously a bit weird in america i don't understand it fully you guys have to pay for everything in the united kingdom we have something called the national health service it is free but it is shit you, you know you want you get your you know, a lump checked on your chest, that's fine, but it'll take you six years, and by the time you get there, you've got cancer and you're dead. So it's pointless, but it's still a good system because if it you're gives people- If you paid a bunch of money to assassinate somebody, and this is the CEO of the largest private insurance company on earth, yep. right? He's definitely getting paid to kill this guy, there's no question about that, in my opinion. Then you, you make sure the job's done, otherwise you don't get 
paid. If I set this up, here's what I would do. I would find me someone maybe with a little, maybe a veteran background, maybe not, just someone, a crackhead. I would hire him for this hit, right? <laughs> I'd make sure he had the money, which would, the money would be a chump change of what he wanted. I would make sure he had the drugs he needed, and I would pay him in drugs as soon as he was done. He does this act. As soon as he done, I'd, I'd, I'd make sure he OD'd. Mm. Really? Yeah, just yeah. push the plunger in, yeah. 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 Jeez, baby, he fucking did it. I mean, he has a lot of good information there, doesn't he? But it is an interesting point. Who is this guy? He has managed to escape and evade the law, so it makes you think he wasn't on his own and he actually is how, having help. I don't understand why people could potentially just do this for no reason. There's got to be a reason. So that's uh, that's why I thought maybe it was an, a, an attempted assassination. So this is what the guy looked like. I know it's a meme. It's a terrible meme. Steal his look if you want to... Uh, but this is what he looked like when he was shooting. He, he was there. He looks like he knows what he's doing. He had a suppressor as well. You know, a homeless man's not going to be able to buy a suppressor. I found this quite funny. $10,000 reward. That's it. You know, for this guy who killed someone. You look, you're after fucking John Wick and he got a $10,000 reward. It's terrible. 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 Pussycat, it's okay. My cat's, my cat's getting upset. What do you guys think about this murder? I, I believe it was a hide hit. I believe he was maybe going to expose or come out and say something um, against the business or maybe how he's made his millions isn't the most ethical, believe it or not, what a surprise that would be to everyone. That I, You know, I'm a uh, conspiracy tinfoil hat man. Look at my hat right now. You don't understand what it's lined with. It's lined with lead and it's lined with marijuana. This shit is getting me high. Just talking, dog. <sighs> no, I'm kidding. Sorry, dude. I was just Snoop Doggin' right there. But seriously, what do you guys think that happened? I, I, I believe this was a hide hit done by a professional who knew what he was doing. You don't kill someone with a silencer. Like, how often do you ever see that? Never. You know, I'm not playing fucking... Well, any game. I run around with a silencer in all games. It makes me feel like a fucking badass. Like, pss, 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 pss. Pinging people's brains left, right, and center. Dude, I'm fucking the real hitman. Maybe I did it. Da, 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 da. No, I didn't, obviously. But let's get to the bottom of this, Sherlock Holmes. If you're clever, find out who this man is. Get him on my podcast that I don't have, but I'll create just for him. And we'll find out why he killed the CEO. And then we'll hand him into the authorities, obviously, because that guy was murdered, if you've forgotten. Anyway, lads, ladies, women, men, kids, goodbye. <laughs>